back to a long overdue YouTube video. So myself and Abby are currently at the beginning of a four hour road trip. To Liverpool. To Liverpool. First time actually being in Liverpool as a lifelong Liverpool football club supporter. A fanatic, one might say. Uh, but we're not going up for a soccer match. We're going up for uh, Atex with ESN. But anyone who doesn't know what Atex is, it's basically a little version of High Rocks. There's one strength component. It's going to be a five rep max on a deadlift. Three rep max on a military press. Then it moves into, like, you split it between two people, but it's one kilometer row. Two kilo or one kilometer ski, two kilometer row, five kilometers on a bike while the other person runs for five kilometers and you just do that between the two and then the last workout the last event of the day is like a metcon so basically anyone who's done a cross saturday morning crossfit workout it's essentially just a much more difficult version of that so i'm in my passenger princess era i've got a starbucks specifically a mocha in the right hand abby's after picking up a tell them pumpkin cream iced oat shaken espresso Pumpkin cream, ice cream, whatever that is. We're off to pick up a pre-workout sandwich. So it's about three hours till game time. So we're gonna need some carb loading in advance. First stop, and you take a massive shit. I elected against taking a shit because there's no way that I was coming out of having used one of those toilets without a radical bowel disease. Um, it was just a continuous stream of men taking the quickest shits I've ever seen. We did get a sandwich, however. Okay, for the remainder of the journey, which is three hours, I pulled the short straw. I'm on driver duty. In terms of a pre-workout meal, I know it, I'm joking about the chicken stuff and sandwich, but it's actually pretty ideal because you've got a decent source of carbs. You got some protein. I don't know if it's mayonnaise on it, but if it is, even so, you know, a minimal amount of fats, which is basically gonna make this easily digestible. It's gonna fill up my muscle glycogen, my energy stores before the Atex. And I just hope that we don't see this chicken stuffing sandwich reappear on the floor of the Liverpool Exhibition Center, having done the workout, I guess. We've made it to the lovely city of Liverpool, but in typical Sean and Abby, fat well, Sean fashion, Abby's usually on time for things. We've got 20 minutes before the event starts, which means we're probably gonna to have to cut the warm up just a little bit short. So it starts with a 30 minute warm up into 30 minutes minutes where you set your five rep deadlift winner at max. But yeah, that's the update. I'm Sean Fitzpatrick, ESN athlete. We're here doing Atex. We're running a little bit late. We're about six minutes to go until the first event starts. I'm excited for it. It's my second time doing one. I have my lovely girlfriend, Abby, alongside me, who's going to be joining me inside here. Fueled, of course, by ESN, who are going to be on all the stations, the ISO clear, all of the good stuff, all the stuff that you should go immediately and use code Sean to purchase. We got here with literally no time to spare. First event starts at half three. We got here at 3.22. I had to do an introduction uh, video for ESN. We had to get registered because both of our names weren't on the list and now I have to take an emergency shit prior to getting started. I'm gonna ask you how you found it before it I ask you ask me. Easy peasy, it's easy level. Are you just saying that or are you saying that to make me feel bad? It was quite hard. It's a different kind of 
is so intense, it's threshold work, so you can be fit. I've just run a marathon. <laughs> right? okay, this I've just is, run a marathon. This is a completely different kind of training because it's so intense for so long. Completely type, different type of fitness, right? Yeah, it is. It's threshold work. So if we were it's, to it's ask you... aerobic fitness, not aerobic fitness. If we were to ask you right here and right now, compare a marathon with Hyrox, with Athex, which one's, which one's number three? We'll give away the top answer straight away. Oh, it's different though. So I, I'm actually going to say my marathon was the... No, I don't know. The marathon was easy. Three, two, one. The marathon was maybe easiest, but then it goes on for longer. Oh, but she finds the, marathons easy now. It's the least intense. They're, so marathon three, settled. They're all different. They're all harder. Out of Atex and High Rocks. Atex and High Rocks. I feel like High Rocks is harder, but just because it goes on for so much longer. High Rocks yeah. is like that for an hour, whereas that was like... The longest one was half an hour. So, as someone who's never done a marathon nor foresees ever doing a marathon, I'd have to place that just because I don't, it's on charter territory, really. I'd have to place that number three. High Rocks is definitely the worst, so Athex is number two. But that last circuit was fucking as close as I could come to getting sick, I reckon. Did you enjoy it? Oh. Did we enjoy it? It's yeah. one word for it. Athex, certainly not as bad as High Rocks. It's just that last circuit. So it's the strength circuit's obviously easy for gym rats. The second one is a bit of a step up because there's some running and some er, endurance shit. Then that last one is just like synchro, sh synchro this, synchro that, synchro burpees, synchro snatches, synchro fucking box step overs, synchro sticking your finger down your throat and getting sick everywhere. <laughs> your head, David. This is filling the whole screen, bro. How tired? Bruv. I've actually sacked in the McDonald's challenge and we came to a service station. We're about two and a half hours into a four hour drive. Now, I could in theory go for a Mackey D's. If the challenge has taught me anything, it's the fact that McDonald's just isn't that good. So we're going with something a little bit new. I'd never heard of it before. It's called Leon's. I went with a peanut satay chicken rice box with basically, they're called house fries, but they're waffle fries essentially. And as expected, a much better option than McDonald's. The only thing I enjoy about doing Athex and High Rocks is that for at least a day, I can eat whatever the fuck that I want and not feel guilty about it. I'm just disappointed that we had to drive back four hours, which we could have planned prior and gotten a hotel and gone out in the lash for the evening, but we didn't. We're keeping it relatively healthy, all things considered. When it comes to those 10 synchro burpee rounds that I nearly died on at the end, the only thing that keeps me going is the food and the drink I'll have afterwards. So I've never had Leon's before, never even knew it was a thing. I don't think it's even that popular in the UK, but it was actually fucking nice. I don't know what it is, but whenever I get Burger King at service stations, and especially in the airport, it just leaves me really gassy, which is less than ideal if you're going on a two hour flight. But the peanut chicken satay rice box was fire. Uh, for those of you who follow me on my Instagram, I did it for a week, I lost 1.2 kg. But then I kind of assessed that it'll be a little bit overkill to do it for a whole month. Not only is it fucking expensive, but I just don't really like McDonald's that much. So you get the gist, you can eat McDonald's every day and lose weight. Not that that should say that you should go and try and aspire to eat McDonald's every day. You shouldn't. That was your third rep of overhead press. So this is meant to be a three rep max and this is Abby's last rep. And then the deadlift, she did 90 kilos, which she could easily do way more than that. For a five rep max. What's this? <laughs> is this four? Is that five? It's three. Four. No, that's five. That's fucking five. That's a joke. Bro didn't push herself at all. No wonder you were fresh on the last round. Uh, next time, if you are deciding to travel a fairly long distance to go somewhere to do an event, just fucking book a hotel and don't do 10 hours of driving. It's fucking insane. However, I have established a new found love for Toyota Yaris's. The reason the last clip cut off uh, is because a can of Coke Zero, which is in my right hand, was bouncing up on the dash. The can of Coke spilled and fell all over the dash, so I had to wipe it up with my brand new Gymshark jumper. But um, that's the update. Uh, next time you see me, we'll probably be back at the house. Hopefully I'll have slightly less Coke Zero all over my lower left shin. And if so, we'll celebrate the end to a really good day. So you mean to say that after 11 hours of driving, can you tell me I have to put together, do you want to elaborate what this is? Yeah. One set of three bookshelf, one clothes row. Both. And I'm sure these take two, three minutes to assemble? No, two, three hours. Each. 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 
Yeah. And when am I supposed to do that? No. That's just not happening, is it? Why not? You don't love me or something? Something like that. Why is your sock yellow? It's not fucking yellow. Ew! He peed on his sock! <laughs> Ew! Ew! He peed on his sock! I mean, Bro, stepped in the toilet. It is kind of yellow. It's actually the Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> kind of spilled all over my foot. I actually had huge regrets. I didn't just pan the camera around to capture the Coke Zeros as it was dripping all over the dashboard. But the reason I didn't is because <laughs> I was a combination of so angry and like, I was like, oh fuck, well, this is definitely going to piss Abby off. So I was thinking to clean up the mess with the Coke Zero probably would be the best to record it. But we're back at the house. I'm gonna wrap up the video here because it seems like a good point to do so. I haven't showered since we finished Apex, so we've been driving in my own stink for the last, and it's pretty bad for the last four hours. So gonna sign it off here. P.S. I should probably put it in at the end of every vlog, but if you're buying something on Gymshark, code Sean, ESN, code Sean. See you in the next one.